Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We've been looking at the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and today we continue reading verse number 19 and 20. The Bible says, For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. You shall weep no more. He will be very gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. And though the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teachers will not be moved into a corner anymore, but your eyes shall see your teachers. This is an encouragement to us that there is still hope. There are times when we go through very hard times. And as we have seen from verse number 18 is that the Lord is ready to show us his love and mercy his justice. In other words, he's so ready to be gracious to us. And he repeats again in verse number 20 that he will be very gracious to you. And before saying so, he says that you shall weep no more, meaning that there is hope and God is able to turn around situations in our lives and he's ready to give us a new beginning. What God is reminding us is that nothing comes to us without his knowledge. He's so much aware of what is happening. And no wonder verse number 20, he says, and though the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, praise be to God, yet your teachers will not be moved into a corner anymore. Nothing can overtake our God. Nothing can overcome the plan that God has for you and me. He is always ready to defend us, to protect us, and to, you know, show us his salvation. And so, though we may be going through the bread of adversity now, it will not last forever. God is ready to give us a new beginning. We may be drinking the water of affliction, but God has not forgotten us. He is always there for us. God is reminding us that he is ready to rescue us and the kind of salvation he's sending upon you and me is salvation that you even open our eyes that you know sometimes we go through situations and you wonder what is this that i'm seeing he is saying he will even open our eyes that we shall see clearly what lies ahead and when the bible talks about your teachers will not be moved into a corner anymore. It's a reminder that you may have gone through pain. You may have gone through the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. But this is not the end of your journey. God will still uplift you. God will still see you through. He's reminding us that uh, he will give us help. You know, whenever there is the mention of the word teacher, we see help. We see, you know, new things that will be taught to us. We see, you know, guidance. And so God is reminding us that our teachers shall not be moved to a corner anymore. We may look as if we have been pressed and oppressed and, uh, you know, pushed all over and from all sides. But God is reminding us that there is still hope. There is still something ahead of us. And so for you and me, we must hold to this hope. We must keep trusting in the Lord, knowing that he is ready to turn around the situation, to help us at our personal lives, you know, at our personal level, in our families, even in our businesses. You may be going through a moment of adversity and affliction. That is not the end. God is your God and he's ready to show you the way, to guide you anew. It is a call to surrender to God. And he says that, but your eyes shall see your teachers. In other words, you will be able to understand the path that God is calling you to undertake, the route that God is leading you to follow. God is reminding us, you may be going through pain, challenges, issues that have you know, uh, come across, uh, uh, upon your life. He is still aware. He is able to help you. He is able to guide you. He is able to open your eyes more and more that you may see the path in a clearer way. May God give you grace. May he uplift you. May you know that, yes, it may look as if it is a bread of 
adversity and the water of affliction, that is not the end. God is still faithful. He is able to uplift us. Take heart and be strong. Remain blessed and keep soldiering on. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.